All right. Good morning and welcome to this second hearing and vote of the City Council's uh, Committee on Governmental <coughs> excuse me, Operations. I am Chair Fernando Cabrera. Today the committee will vote on two bills sponsored by myself. First, proposed intro 1249B will streamline two overlapping TLC programs to make them more effective and transparent parent as vital Vision Zero enforcement tool. Second, intro 1095 will require a notification of expire special permits granted by the Board of Standards and Appeals. TLC maintains two enforcement programs that result in points on driver's licenses. In, 19, in the 1990s, the TLC created the Persistent Violators Program, which assigned points for various TLC rules uh, violation. Drivers who accumulate between six and nine points within a 15-month period face license suspension and revocation if they accumulate 10 or more points. The Critical Drivers Program operates exactly the same way but only counts points assigned by the State Department of Motor Vehicles. These programs were s separated uh, separate into local law 30 of 2014 as part of Vision Zero, allow TLC to count both TLC and D DMV issue points. However, according to the testimony from the TLC, this caused confusion for some drivers and many, th many thought that they were being penalized twice for the same offense. If drivers don't understand why they are being penalized, the penalty is not an effective deterrent. Proposed intro 1249B will repeal the critical driver program and consolidate its only non-duplicate duplicate, uh, provision, uh, the ability for drivers to reduce points af after taking a DMV-approved accident prevention course under a single unified persistent violators program. Let me be clear, the intent of this legislation is not to reduce safety or roll back Vision Zero measures all elements of both programs remain. The bill is simply intended to eliminate driver confusion and thus increase the effectiveness of the TLC crucial efforts to ensure safe driving. The second bill to be voted on today is Intro 1095. This bill amends local law 84 of 2017, which currently requires the, the Board of Standards and Appeals to provide a notification to the owner of record when a variance is about to expire to now also require the BAC, BSA provide a notification to the owner of record when a special permit is about to expire. Special permits allow a certain use in a zoning district where the use might not otherwise be allowed, such as an auto service service station in a commercial district or an electric or gas utility substation in a residential district. Use of the property after the special permits uh, expiration may be a violation of its certificate of occupancy. The BSA will be required to inform the owner that the special permit cannot be extended into penalties for such a violation are paid. The bill will also require the notification for both variances and special permits to be sent to the community board in which the property is located. The not notification will be required to go out six months before the special permit expire. I want to thank our committee staff, Daniel Collins, Emily Forjohn, Elizabeth Kong, Sebastian Bacci, Elliot Lynn, as well as my own le legislative director, Claire McLevain, for making this hearing possible. I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Governmental Operations, introduction 1095 and 1249B. Chair Cabrera. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Powers. Aye. Yeager. Aye. I vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you so much, and we'll keep the roll open until 1130.